Hi everybody, welcome back. And we are back with another selection from this catalog. And right now we are on the bakery section. Now this was a section when I first started as a consultant. I was always kind of scared of bakery because I was like, oh, I don't know if I want my house smelling like food. Oh, it's going to make me want to eat. I'm fat enough. I don't need to get any fatter by smelling all this good smelling bakery stuff. And then I'm going to eat when I'm warming. I have since gotten past all of that and discovered the joys of bakery smelling wax. It is just the best thing ever, especially on like a cool fall day. It's just amazing how the scent just envelops the house and it just it almost wraps you in a blanket i know you guys hear me say that all the time but it's just the truth it just it's so warm and comforting and some days especially after a rough day you just need to put something on where you can zone out relax feel the love and just get all warm and fuzzy so let's get started with bakery Okay, so the first one is a new scent, and I've already highlighted this scent. It is Almond Croissant, and it's just a great buttery, sweet-smelling wax. It, it smells really good. I was very surprised because you guys know I am not an almond lover. So the notes for this are... It says, fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. And when they say infusion, it is just a slight infusion, at least on cold. So, really happy about that. Next, we have apples and oats. This is also a brand new scent and smells like apples and oats. It kind of smells like... Um, the apple oatmeal that you get from like the Quaker brand well any brand but you know what I'm talking about so we just can't get by with without dropping a tester can we okay so it says rich buttery oats caramelized apple and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farm farmhouse kitchen these descriptions are very wordy, y'all. This is a good one. I like it, so we will see once I get it how it does. The next one is one I think I dropped. Hold on. Ugh. Is it? Is it? Is it? No. <laughs> the next one, I do not have a sample of it because it's not a new fragrance, but I do happen to have a bar of it that I just acquired recently. So that is apple butter frosting. So we don't get in our tester kits, uh, we don't get every single scent that's in the catalog. We get the majority of them, but for scents that have been around forever and a day, we're not gonna get those over and over again. So luckily I have a bar of it. So you guys know I got this to try with churro churro so i still have to get that combo going this is just a beautiful sweet sweet bar it smells like a sweet apple frosting it's really really good so the notes for this one are a heartwarming melody of cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream it's just awesome 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 once I do that combo, I will come back and let you know how fabulous it is. This and mixed with churro churro. Next is apple cherry strudel. I do not have this bar and I don't have a sample of it because it's been around forever. Um, the notes are Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle. Insist on a dessert first. Granny Smith apple, cherry, and vanilla drizzle insist on d dessert first. Okay, so from what I have heard about this bar, um, it's a powerhouse, but then when it's gone, it's gone. So it's like enjoy it while it lasts because it's going to be gone after a while. And when it leaves, it Elvis has truly left the building. Next one we have is baked apple pie. I told you guys in my last haul, I was surprised at the amount of spice 
in this. It is spicy. Like this needs to be actually more in the spice section to me than in bakery. I mean, I know it's called baked apple pie, so bakery duh, but it is spicy. I will warm this on its own just to see what it really smells like, but I think I'm going to end up mixing this with something. So we have, it says flaky crust apples and spices combine in a strong scent. I don't get a flaky crust off of this at all. So like I said, we'll see what happens once this is warmed. Next, we have blueberry cheesecake, another newly acquired bar. I can almost smell it outside the clamshell. Oh, it's so loud, it's so good. The blueberry is just slapping you upside the head. Oh, it's so good. So, the notes for this one are thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. The blueberries are so sweet and juicy in this. Oh my God. If you have not tried this, you are missing out on your whole entire life. Next, we have another new scent and that is breakfast in bed. And it is just a really pretty scent. It's kind of like a almost like a perfumey food scent. Really, really sweet. So the notes for this one, it says wake up to warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle. It smells so good, y'all. It, it's sweet, It's it seems like it's gonna be a good performer as well. Next we have, which is one I don't have and I don't have a sample either, and that is brownie batter. And you can pretty much see what the notes are. It says, rich heavenly notes of baked brownie, cocoa powder, and vanilla bean will set the stage for some serious cravings. I have smelled it before. I think it might have came in a whip box last year really really good it smells like just what it is brownie batter it was awesome next we have butter pecan butter pecan however you want to say it i don't have this one either in a tester it says if fall had a flagship fragrance this blend of candy pecan and maple folded with butter would be a strong contender i have smelled it before it smells really really good so you can't go wrong with butter pecan. Next we have candy cranberry pecan. So you know there's gonna be some extra sweetness in this one. If I can get it open. You can smell cranberry, definitely. There's a weird note in this and I'm not sure what it is. Now, me doing like this doesn't really smell weird, though. I don't know what I thought it was smelling before, but the notes for this one are, it says classic cranberries. I was getting ready to say strawberries. Classic cranberries and pecans are sweetened by sugar cane and a ribbon of brandy plum. Maybe it was the brandy note that was kind of throwing me off. Because there is a kind of funky note in here to me. So I'm thinking that might be the brandy. But smells like a dessert so you can't go wrong. Next we have a bestseller and that is Hug in a Mug. And it just smells like chocolate cocoa. Oh, or chocolate cake batter. One of the two. It's so good. Ooh, I need to get this. This would definitely make you want to actually eat the wax. Oh, it's so good. You can smell the sweetness in there. It smells like, like sweet whipped cream or something. Let's see. It says, curl up with chocolate hazelnut and cookie dough. Oh, I guess the sweetness was the cookie dough note. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying 
trying to see what the difference is between this one. Oh, I don't have brownie batter, duh. I would have loved to have these side by side to see what the difference is. This is more chocolate, and I do remember brownie batter. It really smelled just like you cutting the brownies, like those crust edges, that that thick, just out the oven brownie note. That's what it smelled like. Next is pumpkin roll. This is one of my personal fall favorites. Oh, I love this scent so much. It was in my club for a hot minute, too. It's just sweet pumpkin. Mm. It's so good. It's so sweet. Oh, I absolutely love it. So pumpkin roll is creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. <sighs> Another one you just literally just want to be like, ah. Next up we have, and I will say this is the powerhouse of the bakery section. You guys already know what it is if you're familiar with Scentsy. It is Stroop Waffle Delight. And I always think I'm saying it wrong, Stroop Waffle, Stroop Waffle. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is a powerhouse. It's so bakery and good it just smells you put this on and it has your whole house just lit up with bakery this is one that you put on and you can literally smell it two rooms away i had this going with different wax in different rooms and this was just killing everybody it was just slaying everybody in sight so if you want something strong this is what you need in your whole entire life. The notes are, it says a cozy twist on traditional Dutch treat made with creamy vanilla, rich melted butter, and cinnamon. It is everything. This was also in my club for a little bit. It's just so good and strong, but it's not strong in a bad way. Oh, but if you want your house to smell good, if you want people to think you're baking, put this bad boy on and it will be on and popping. So the last two are so good that I have them in brick form. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? I'm going to just show you from the back. Bam! What is it? The first one is... sugar cookie you guys already knew you you know what both of them are you knew this was one of them sugar cookie smells just like what oh that's so loud smells just like what it is it smells like a sweet sugar cookie this is so good i haven't even put a good dent in this yet this was one that i got not too long ago Oh, it's so sweet, though. Oh, now by itself, this is not that powerful of a um, performer. It's a good performer, but it's, it's just kind of meh on performance. But um, it's another one where it's just so enjoyable while you can smell it. This is an excellent mixer. You can mix it with, like, everything under the sun. It is just amazing if you want something to sweeten up a fragrance, this is what you need right here. I was so excited about this, I didn't even give y'all the notes. The notes are warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. Oh, it's just everything. This is so good. Like I said, I recently got this. This is an investment brick. You know, this is the brick that you just get to have just on site just because, you know, just because you want to smell it by itself and especially because you want to use this to mix with other things. So last but not least, you already know what this one is, don't you? Bam! Vanilla bean butter cream. Um, as you can see by the fabulous outfit this has on, I got this one during um, 
last season during our brick winter brick event and I think I've done pretty good with it. I'm almost halfway through. So this is yet again another amazing, amazing, amazing scent. It's rich, it's creamy, it's sweet. It's just so, so, so good. This is another scent that you can use to sweeten up different scents. Um, if you want to add vanilla to something, this is what you need in your life. It is just so good. And as you can see, I haven't even had this a year yet. And we're like almost halfway through it. So let me just give you the note. So vanilla bean buttercream, decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. This is everything. It's, it's not strong by itself, but once again, it is a great, great scent to mix with. You can warm this by itself and you will smell it, but this is really, really good for mixing with other things as well. Now, there are days where I feel like I just want to smell some vanilla and I will put this on by itself and just let it go. But mixing, this is everything for mixing. So we have gone through the entire bakery section. So let me know if you have any questions on anything you've seen here, anything we've discussed here, or just Scentsy in general. So I will be back with the next selection of Category of Scents. And once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.